Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of editing and my audio in this video is messed up somehow. So I'm not gonna redo the video because these take me so long to do, but um, I'm gonna have to like buy a new mic, I guess. But there's like a loud kind of buzzing in the background of the video. I'm gonna attempt to fix it through editing and stuff, but I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time. I'm so sorry. I guess just try to bear with me with that throughout the video and try to just not focus on that. But um, yeah, so I'm having a lot of technical difficulties today, but I hope you guys enjoy the video um, regardless of that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video for my Zodiac series. So today's video is about Gemini and I'm a Gemini. So yes, I'm a June 5th baby, a June Gemini. Where you guys at? June Gemini's, comment down below. <laughs> or May, you guys are special too, okay? <laughs> But in today's video, I'm going to try not to be too biased about the topic because obviously I'm a Gemini, but I'm just going to be talking for all the other Geminis and try not to make it about myself because we tend to do that. <laughs> if anyone's curious, for all of you Zodiac freaks like me, if you want to know what my other signs are, I'm a Gemini sun, a Cancer moon, and a Cancer rising. Pray for my personality, guys. I cry about everything. I am very much Cancer-ish. In my opinion, I have a lot of Gemini qualities, but man, do I have like every single cancer quality ever. Anyway, so I'm gonna start off by saying, usually I am wearing a wig and like my makeup that has to do with the zodiac sign or like reminds me of it. But today I decided to just wear my actual hair, just my brown long hair. It's kind of like a running joke that every Gemini has brown hair. That's not a fact, that is not a part of this video, but like it's just like a running joke and I feel like it's kind of true. So yeah, for today I cho chose to wear just my hair and my makeup is very subtle. So like if you look up Gemini makeup on the internet, you literally just see a wing, orangish eye makeup, like a neutral lip. So that's what I did and guys, this is literally the makeup I wear every time I do my makeup. So <laughs> it's not lying. For my shirt, I just wear a black like turtleneck kind of shirt because this is what I personally wear a lot and I find that a lot of Gemini's we just like to be comfortable and like very simple we don't like to wear a bunch of like crazy stuff even though the internet kind of puts us out to be like colorful and like bubbly we're really not we don't really like color as much as you would think and for my crystal necklace today I'm wearing Celestite it's actually a very good crystal for Gemini's and this is actually the necklace I wear constantly and I do hand make these necklaces and this exact necklace along with all my other necklaces will be linked down below so please check that out to show me some support <laughs> okay and I'm also going to start by mentioning that your rising sign is going to be one of the most accurate signs when it comes to zodiac and horoscope for example my rising sign is a cancer like I said so like I would probably relate most to the cancer video but obviously if you are a Gemini Sun you will probably relate to a lot of this too it's just your rising sign is very accurate for a lot of horoscope stuff but okay this is like the longest intro I've done yet so let's just get into this video and talk all about Gemini which is one of my favorite signs I have a lot of Gemini friends like I freaking love Gemini's I just love them so Gemini is an air sign and air signs are often connected with mental functions and um, adaptability Gemini is definitely more of like the wind or a breeze more than the air itself because air can be trapped in a jar but you can't catch a breeze in a jar <laughs> and we are definitely uncatchable we're kind of known as like a mutable air sign their astrological symbol is the twins and they're ruled by the planet mercury mercury is known as the quick-witted messenger of the gods it imparts a sharp intellect gift for communication and persuasiveness mercury also rules the performing arts which is why you will see that gemini is often very creative so Gemini runs from May 21st to June 20th and they are the third sign of the astrological year. Their lucky color is orange and their lucky plant is orchid and hybrids. Their lucky gemstones are tourmaline and garnet. And garnet is actually one of our birthstones if you're a June Gemini, so yeah. And the tarot card that is associated with Gemini is the lovers card. So now I'm just going to name off some famous Geminis that you guys may know. So I have to start with a very famous Gemini currently, Carol Baskin. <laughs> Unfortunately, she is one of us. <laughs> Next one is Donald Trump, Emma Chamberlain, James Charles, Marilyn Monroe, Ninja, Kanye West, and his daughter Northwest, Angelina Jolie, G Easy, Johnny Depp, Kat Dennings, Tupac, and Natalie Portman. 
So as you can see, that is a lot of interesting, creative people. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna get into our 10 facts. Fact number one is that Geminis tend to overthink absolutely everything because our minds are constantly running they never stop. They're almost always in a deep thought and in their own world, in their head, almost 24 seven. Just never stop thinking and never not in a deep thought about anything. And also this is kind of off topic, but they're very adaptable. They can almost adapt to like any situation that you put in front of them. Moving, changing a job, changing a hobby, I don't know very adaptable to just about anything. Fact number two is they're very moody and bipolar, very switchy. This is kind of where the double personality thing comes in, the twins. It definitely does not take much to make a Gemini happy and laugh, but it takes even less to make them mad. They could be at a party and be having the most fun ever, but then instantly just want to leave and just be in a bad mood. They definitely have the capability to just be very happy and then like snapping in 20 minutes. The thing with the moodiness thing is that they tend to hide it from their close friends and family. I don't know if they're like ashamed of it or something, but they definitely hide the moodiness for as long as they can. And they tend to not snap at people that they're really close to because they just don't want people to see that side of them. Fact number three is that Geminis are very loyal to the end and they're really good friends to have. They will be the first ones to drop what they're doing to help you with anything that you need help with and also just help you to their best capability that they can. And they will be the first people to speak up and defend you in a situation that you need them to. They will definitely stick up for you in a time of need. Geminis get along with pretty much anyone and everyone, but they definitely crave a deep mental connection that they don't find very often. They just love like good conversations with people that they really enjoy being around. Fact number four is that you will never fully know a Gemini. They never let anyone fully in. It's just really hard to get to their deepest layers. They're also secretly very manipulative and tend to always get their way no matter what because they're very good at manipulation and like just making you believe anything. And they're known liars. Like they're, they tend to be liars, but about like little things. They'll just like make stuff up kind of to like, get their way and like manipulate you. Fact number five, even though they're known as the airheads, they notice every single little thing. Even if you think that they don't notice something, they do. They just pay attention to everything and they're really good at that. They spot the little things about a person that others may miss. And along with the paying attention thing, they're also really good listeners. So if you need someone to listen to you, go to a Gemini because they will listen and they will help you through anything. Fact number six is they highly dislike negative and whiny people or boring people. Like if a Gemini doesn't like you, you will know it, they will show it. And if they think that you're boring, they will literally just like walk away. <laughs> They're just so like straightforward. If they don't like you, you will know it. They really like people that stimulate their mind. They love good conversation. So if you're boring, just know. <laughs> Fact number seven, and I'm not just saying this because I'm a Gemini, this is like an actual thing. Geminis are known as one of the most desirable signs of the zodiac. They're very charming and alluring. People just are very attracted to them. And that goes for like more of the female side of Gemini, not so much the male, that's what I found like through my research, but male Geminis are very nice too. <laughs> Fact number eight is that a Gemini that is stressed or depressed will definitely shut everything and everyone out, including themselves. Like they definitely avoid their own problems and they don't like to talk about deep stuff about themselves. To talk about your problems all day, but when it comes to their problems, they just like, they don't get too deep about it. They don't, they just avoid it at all costs if they can when they're feeling like super stressed out. Like they definitely bottle a lot of stuff up. Number nine, kind of going off of what I just said, Geminis are extremely misunderstood. Like they're very sensitive, but since they never show their emotion, the people around them don't know how to help them. And the whole double personality thing comes in a lot because since we do kind of have like so many different moods, I think moods is a better way to put it than like double personality. Like I think we just have a lot of moods that we go through like on a daily basis. Since we just go through all these emotions all the time, people do not understand like who we are at that moment, who, yeah. So we're just very misunderstood. Fact number 10 is that Geminis always speak their mind and they argue for what they believe in. They're very opinionated, passionate people. Like if they feel passionate about something, you will definitely know about that thing. <laughs> this is like sort of off topic, but I have a really hard time fitting just 10 facts. But Geminis are very much a gossip. They love gossip, they're very attracted to drama, but they don't like to be in the middle of the drama. They just love the drama. They love talking about it with their friends, but they don't necessarily like being the drama. <laughs> and like I said, I can never just fit 10. So fact number 11 
is that Geminis really present themselves well in public and they give off great energy. They're excellent communicators, extremely talkative, and they just always give off good energy. So if you want a good friend to shower you with compliments all the time and tell you how great you are, just get yourself a Gemini friend. <laughs> They're very good writers and often excel in anything having to do with creativity. So like, you will notice that a lot of Geminis are just very creative. They could be singers, writers, Really anything, they just like excel in anything like that. Like they really excel in group activity as well. Okay guys, so that was 10 plus one fact about Geminis. So sorry if I was like in any way biased in this video because like, I'm a Gemini. But I really do love Geminis, I'm not just saying that. We're known as like just like so bad and like the worst sign. I don't know why because I think we're great people and great friends and yeah. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Literally, you guys are so gorgeous. Like, I hope you know that, because you are. <laughs> Catch me next Monday for the cancer video. I love you guys, too. I absolutely love cancers. And yeah, I'll catch you guys there. I love you so much. You are beautiful and good. Bye.